Hi everybody, my name is Lars van Beek. I'm a strategy and alliance manager here at Betty Blocks, and I'd like to welcome you to the session about Betty Blocks here at the Data Talks conference. Today I'll be talking to you about Betty Blocks in the Comulio partnership and what added value that has for customers. I've asked my colleague Rob from the Atlanta office to talk to you a bit more about the Betty Blocks platform and the market landscape that we see. And after that, I'll be showing you the Betty Blocks platform itself and the integration with Comulio. Like I said before, we have a great partnership with Camilio. Using the BettyBlox platform, which is a no-code citizen development platform, you can build really great enterprise-ready applications. By using the integration with Camilio, you can have business intelligence and data insight functionality within your BettyBlox applications, which is really great because it re really gives greater customer value. So looking at the business and IT challenges, you can see many businesses are adapting to new technologies to stay relevant. Uh, in the IT landscape. They need to build an architecture that is future-proof because businesses have really modern needs uh, and they need to respond to these modern needs by building integrated solutions, using the different kinds of platforms that are out there, integrate them into one solution that can really add value to their business. And the Betty Blocks and Camulio integration is one of those examples. Um, using the Betty Blocks platform, you can empower new breeds of developers. So basically everybody in your organization is able to build enterprise ready applications. And IT offers them a tool set to build these applications. And the tool set is Betty Blocks as a development platform. Different kinds of developers can make use of the platform to build applications and really help each other to build these applications. So IT enables business users to build their own applications. That's what we call citizen development. So IT maintains and governs the platform and the business is able to build applications themselves. But if you want to build applications that have data inside dashboarding, you can use Comulio to add these data inside dashboard into your BettyBlox applications. And the great thing about Comulio is that just like BettyBlox platform, it's a citizen development platform. So it's very easy to create your data inside dashboards using Camilio uh, from your BettyBlox data set. You can import the data from your BettyBlox application into Camilio, build your dashboards, and then use these dashboards into your BettyBlox applications again. It's really easy uh, and powerful uh, way to add dashboards to your applications. Now for the next part, I've asked my colleague Rob from the Atlanta office to talk to you a bit more about BettyBlox, the platform and the market landscape that we see. Rob, take it away. Um, I'd like to take a little bit of time and, and further introduce Betty Blocks to everyone. Talk about some of the current challenges that um, organizations are facing, not only in the U.S. and Canada, but, but worldwide. Uh, I'd like to touch on some of the market trends and what they're telling us and, and how Betty Blocks fits into this landscape. And then I'd like to wrap up uh, by touching a little bit on our methodology, our ROI expectation, and really what makes Betty Blocks different. Um, after that, I'll be turning things over to my colleague to give you a demo of our collective solution. So let me further introduce Betty Blocks. We were founded in early 2012. Our global headquarters is based in Alkmaar, which is in the Netherlands, but we also have uh, offices here in the U.S. in Atlanta, Georgia, as well as representation in the U.K. within London. Uh, we are very proud uh, to serve over 4,000 uh, builders. Uh, those include uh, both pro-coders as well as no-coders or citizen developers, as they're sometimes commonly called. And when you break down those 4,000 builders, um, we are currently working just over 300 and in, 350 individual uh, customer organizations. Uh, we're also um, lucky enough to bring forward a well-developed global partner network. Um, and it's with this global partner network that we're able to extend our geographic reach outside the areas that I've mentioned. And within this global network, we're working with companies that um, are an integrated strategic alliance, like the one we have here, uh, as well as those that fit more of a traditional reseller um, mold. So we're happy to uh, extend and educate anyone interested in talking about a, a partnership with uh, Betty Blocks as well. I'd like to uh, talk about some of the challenges uh, that uh, many organizations are facing. Um, when talking to IT decision makers, the overwhelming percentage, 90% approximately, are discussing how legacy systems are preventing them from doing the critical things that will help them grow and become more efficient. 
when Gardner went and started interviewing organizations about becoming more self-reliant to build their own applications, overwhelmingly, 73% want to be able to stand and deliver on the critical applications that they needed. But as you could imagine, with legacy systems and wanting to become self-reliant, the realization is, and the biggest challenge that many organizations face, is that the IT teams that they have developed, that they have uh, in-house, can't keep up with that digital first demand. Of course, this isn't the fault of IT. It's where business is headed and the requirement for digital first. So considering where uh, current companies are, where they want to be, easily the biggest challenge that's facing many organizations is they can't keep up with that growing demand. So the way that we like to address this challenge is talk about empowering a new breed of developer to help supplement the resources of IT teams internally. 86% of the decision makers that the Project Management Institute spoke with talked about how the digital transformation that they want to take on will lead uh, to an issue with less developers available than they need. Ironically enough, Gardner is predicting that in two short years, the amount of citizen developers will outnumber professional developers or those in those IT organizations by a multiple of four. So what do we need to do? Well, where there's need and there's trending opportunity, how do you bridge that gap? And that's where uh, no code and low code solutions like Betty Blocks come into uh, play. So with unlimited no code, what we're talking about now is building without restrictions. You can build almost anything without a single line of code, but in the event that a pro coder wants to add code or things get stuck and you need that element, you can certainly add those things. And that's where Betty Blocks is really finding uh, its value in driving what can be delivered to our customer organization. And really it's our methodology that sets us apart. What we understand is that any organization will initiate a conversation with a no-code or low-code platform like ours and discuss a particular issue, a particular project, a, a particular application that they need to develop. But what we do here at Betty Blocks is talk about how we can grow that ecosystem of developers. So it's not just another tool, it's actually something that is a paradigm shift in the way these organizations are addressing their digital first challenges. So we start with IT, we start with an initial project, then what we do is then we'll start to talk about what they can repurpose and reuse to help them prioritize their next critical applications process. We train a team initially that can then support the next evolution of the developer that's organizing within their company until we can go company-wide. So we are leveraging a methodology that solves a problem, that helps in an organization prioritize the problems that they have next while uh, extending their citizen development ecosystem, reaching what we call internal virality. We become a company-wide platform so it can be used by both low-code and no-code users without sacrificing the governance that is critically important for the IT organizations to maintain control. But through that governance and because of citizen development, you can still increase your efficiency and speed to market. So the ROI, the return on investment, when it comes to solutions like Betty Blocks, when looking at a composite organization or the average size organization that's currently investing in a no-code, low-code solution, and looking at it not only to solve an initial problem, but change their uh, operation of their organization to meet their critical challenges, many of these companies are reporting a 502% uh, return on investment, payback in less than a year of the initial investment that they need to make, and a 48% reduction in overall application development costs. So when we are talking to organizations, we start in a very traditional way. Oftentimes we'll sit down and we'll do a discovery session and, and we'll show them a demonstration of the platform to prove our technical capabilities. We'll then discuss a particular use case, finding the right fit helping establish ROI for that use case, and then proving ourselves on the job training to help the IT team and a select group of citizen developers to build that first application, achieve ROI so they can become empowered. Again, helping them become empowered will help them achieve internal virality. We can then build a digital execution plan 
that empowers the next generation of citizen developers within an organization, which allows then for scale to occur, dis helping our customers discover new projects and solve them with digital solutions company-wide. Thank you for the opportunity to talk a little bit more about Betty Blocks. Let's uh, now enjoy the demo. Again, if you have any questions for me, uh, my uh, contact information is available. Would love to talk to you. Thanks again for the opportunity. Yes, thanks very much, Rob. Now let me show you a bit more about the Betty Blocks platform itself and how you can build great applications. Now Betty Blocks is a SaaS platform. So everything that you do runs from the browser. So the development environment is in the browser and the applications run in your browser as well. So if you go to mybettyblocks.com, this is the first thing that you see re really. It's your dashboard. In your dashboard, you can start building immediately using any of the templates that are available. So when we go to the left, you can click on organizations and you can see all the organizations that I manage. Now from the, for this demo, I'll, I'll open up the M&M application and the Q&A. So what you can see now, the, these are the settings for the M&M uh, Q&A application. Uh, on the lower side of the screen, you can see the Sandbox Manager. And the Sandbox Manager is a really great tool for developers because they can set up a really working DTAP street uh, for development and testing purposes of your application. On the right side, you can add users for the application uh, and what kind of user it is. Uh, and you'll have different settings over here as well uh, to add options, web options and host names, and for example, settings for your emailing uh, within your application. Now let's open up the uh, application itself. So when I open the M&M Q&A application, this is what you see. And on the left side, uh, this is what we call the builder bar, which has the most important things that you need to develop your application. So to start building a Betterblocks applications, you usually start with building a data model. The data model is a database which is in the Betterblocks platform itself. The data model you can fill with all sorts of data like pictures, text, anything that you want basically. On top of that data, you build your actions. So actions are actionable content that you can do with your data. For example, send a mail uh, or do some really crazy stuff with your data. That's what you do in actions. On top of those actions, you build your pages. And the pages are the ones that you see in your application. So let's add a new page. And I'll use any of the templates available. Now you can see it's loading the page. And you can see that it's added the page. And on the left side, you can see what we call our page builder. Within the page builder, you can see all sorts of components that you can use to add to the, the page. For example, adding a grid. Or adding an additional navigation bar. So this was a really short demonstration about the BetBlocks platform and how you can build your application. Now let me show you how the integration with Camulio and BettyBlocks works. For this to work, we created an endpoint at the BettyBlocks platform for Camulio to get the data from the BettyBlocks platform, because you really want the data that's inside your application to be used by Camulio. And at Camulio, we created a plugin so they can fetch the data from the BettyBlocks application. Now first in the BettyBlocks application, we add the data uh, and create the data model. So we create two models basically. The first one um, is a customer model where we add the first name and the last name and the email address. And the second model that we've created is an order model with a price per unit, a quantity and a total price. Now for this to work properly, we need to add a relation between these two models. So we open up the customer model, go to relations, as many, and then we select the order model. So now we, we've created a relation between the two models. Now let's head over to the Camilio website. So over here you can add uh, the data from your BettyBlocks applications. And we'll be using the plugin that we've created before in the Camilio platform. So we select the customer data and you can see that the customer data is yeah, obtained from the BettyBlocks application itself. So we create another data set for the orders and we import the order data as well as you can see over here yeah it's imported properly now we need to create a link between the two just like we did in the better blocks application uh, but we need to do it at Camellio site as well
Yeah, so you can already see that the data is interpreted correctly. Now, let's create a new dashboard. <clears throat> so here's the dashboard. We add a nice little name to it. And then add some items. So, um, yeah, we selected the column chart. And you can see it's really easy to create your dashboard. Uh, and use the data from the BattleBlocks application to add to the dashboard. So here uh, we've added the uh, total price. And over here we'll be adding the customer data. Yeah, so you can see it works already. But wouldn't it be nice to have a search and select button over here as well? So you can select um, the first name or the last name or the email address of the customer so you can really see uh, what orders they, um, they created. Yeah, so we added the first name select box over here. And now you can select myself or Giel, our developer, and you can immediately see um, that it really works pretty well in the uh, Camellia dashboard. So now we'll be sharing this dashboard uh, so we can integrate it into the BettyBlocks application itself. So we go into share, integrate, and here you can see a little bit of code uh, that you can use to create uh, the dashboard in your BettyBlocks application. So we head back into the Betty Blocks platform. We create a new page. We'll start with a page with app bar. So we have a nice little app bar on top of the page already. We'll be giving it a page name. Integrate the dashboard, that's a really nice name. Uh, and over here again, you can see the page builder with all the um, uh, components. Now we added a custom component to the page builder to make it easier for customers to add dashboards. Uh, so you can just add the custom component onto your uh, application canvas and then add the dashboard ID, which you can get from the, uh, um, the Camellio website. Yeah, so you add, add your dashboard ID. You can add an authentication key and a token, uh, but for this demo, we made it really simple uh, and easy for you to, uh, to see that it works. And you can see the select button works as well. So that was it. What we talked about today is the Betty Blocks and Camulio partnership. Rob talked to you about the Betty Blocks platform and the market landscape that we see. And we've given you a demonstration about the BettyBlocks platform and the integration with Camulio Data Insight Services. So thanks very much for attending this, uh, this webinar. And if you need any more information about the integration, the partnership, or the BettyBlocks platform itself, please let me know. My email address is on the screen. Thanks very much and have a nice day.